Hello, my name is Yasmin Williams. I am the founder of Surviving Adulthood for the You in the Future. The problem that I see in my community is that many teens are not educated about the things that they need to make them a successful adult, such as how to pay rent, taxes, and things of that nature. And I found in my research that only nearly half of all high school and college graduates feel that they're prepared or were prepared by the school for life after school. And only 8% of high school graduates actually make plans to complete a college or a career course. Only one third of those actually complete the college or career course, and only 13% actually finish the career course. My solution, my blog, Surviving Adulthood, will give teens easy to understand and learn posts about adulthood and things of that nature. My mission is to provide teens with educational tools that they can use to further their career as an adult and beyond. I want to give a certain percentage of my proceeds to the Los Angeles, to the San Pedro, California Boys and Girls Club, so that because they have helped me in my own personal pursuit in education. I, my benefits will be to expose teens to adulthood and provide teens with information that can make them successful adults. I want to provide easy learning, financial planning, listing for apartments, access to therapists and counselors, and service hours opportunities because those were things that I felt that I needed as an individual. I want to sell space on my website for a $50 minimum to actual businesses or services and I want to use a membership for my actual customers that would be a $10 membership fee monthly. My description of one unit is advertising and membership. I just grouped them, grouped them together to make this an easier presentation and it's 18 a month to actually get my blog started, and 13 to actually pay workers, which at the beginning will be myself. And to break even, I will need to sell five units. I am in the e-commerce industry, and we make $360.3 billion. And my population size will be the 1.8 million teens who actually live in the California area and have access to the internet. I want to make sure that they are from the ages 14 to 18, so, but I want to expand that age, I want to expand the age range in a bit, but for now I want to stick in that range for, to reach the high school students. So I want to market on social media because most teens are on social media as of now. I want to do ads so that I can reach more teens. I want to do search engine optimization, but for this presentation I left that out because that's another $300 that we can deal with later. And I want to do a referral program that if you refer your friend to my service, you get a $2 off your membership program. When I do my research, there's no one who does exactly what I do. It's mostly just adults telling teens how to be an adult, and I want to make my market special. So what I found is that Young Adult Survivor Guide and Adulting Guide were the two closest things that I had to competition. The Young Adult Guide was an adult ran, I mean, was a blog run by an adult telling kids how to be a teen. And they only met two out of the three requirements that I set for my own business. And the adulting guy, from what I saw on the actual, the synopsis, the synopsis on the back and the actual book cover seemed like a funny book. So I didn't think that it meet any of the qualifications I, I had. And my advantage is that I'm a teen, so I have insight on what teens want. Because as of now, teens do not listen to adults as we should. And I want to provide a service that teens can listen to another teen. My qualifications. I was in Girl Scouts for most of my life, and that taught me that taught me how to do leadership and to work with people. I was in a tech trek program for girls, which was a program that taught us about engineering. We went to UC Irvine to we stayed there for a week so we can learn about the college life, drum life, and everything. I've been an honorable student. I've maintained a 3.8 or higher GPA during my entire school, and I would have successfully completed the Los Angeles Urban League Nifty Biz Camp program, and I was in STEAM for a number of years. I want to sell 7,910 units, which will make my gross revenue $774,600. And I want my net, my net profit will be $229,390. And, $229, and $390. My startup funds, this is the basics. I want to get 30, my start, my start proceed expenditures will be $37.70. And my total startup investment will be $492.80. And my return on investment will be $45, and my return on sales will be $50.
My future plans is to graduate 2021 at my school, San Pedro High School. I want to go to UC Irvine because I actually saw the entire campus when I was at the Tech Trek program and that it was really beautiful to me. And I want to reach out to, us, to other organizations to bring more informative information to my blog. And I want to hire more writers. I want to hire teens so that I can give them the independence that they want as of now. Because as teens, we think we know everything and we want to create our own money so we don't have to ask our parents. And I want to start a podcast or YouTube where I can bring on my friends or other teens so that we can talk about the issues that we have and that we can bring on adults or whoever who actually has knowledge on that specific field. And I want to give them a way to an outlet. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Yasmin Williams, founder of Surviving Adulthood, the you in the future. Thank you for your time. And I know the email on this is different from the card because the card is my personal email and this was made before the presentation was made. And this is my actual blog email that I made. Any questions? Um, okay, so um, you said that if you recommend your um your site to a friend or someone else that you would get two dollars off your membership would that be only for one month or the entire membership that you have i want to do it for specifically that month and then if you refer more friends it turns over to the other months okay and then how do you verify that you referred it to a friend i want to get like an email kind of set up like i want to be able to connect with my actual customers so i want them to be able to like contact me and like that way i can see if they refer to friend and like have like a survey to see did, did you hear about the site from someone else or something like that or an ad? Um, you said you were going to hire teens or you, you're a team so you'll be connecting with your audience as a team. What happens um, as, how do you do your turnover for hiring as you age out of being a team? What is your plan for the continued um, human resources side of things, meaning your staff, would they always be teens or when they age out of being teens, do you turn over? I want to have a mix of both so that we can have the teen experiences, mm -hmm. but we can also have the adults so the adults can provide the actual like wise information mm -hmm. and teens can put on their input so that it's more user friendly because okay. teens of now don't really listen to like, like the strict information that adults give us. Mm -hmm. So I want teens to be able to like condense that to make it more teen friendly. Okay. Do you currently um, subscribe to any other blogs or, or something along this line? As of now, I do not. Because I, as I said before, there is no, no one who actually like does specifically what I do. And when adults talk about like taxes and rent, it doesn't really like comprehend in my mind. So I wanna, I wanna try to look for those like teens who try to like do that kind of thing. Because when adults say it, it's not the most digestible for me because it's like a lot of numbers and things of that nature okay so how would be, so how would be advertising besides um, pop-up ads like would you be um would you be advertising this in your school or anything like that yes i want to speak in the schools that i've actually i have personal connections with like uh i went to lawndale for a bit and then i switched to san pedro so i want to talk in those schools and i have friends in those schools i also want to go to like prairie vista like i want to reach the schools that my siblings are in because i have a lot of siblings of now i have eight so I have a lot of like resources, like my sister goes here for preschool, so I kind of want to like, I want to talk to schools, like I want to talk in like assemblies and like that kind of thing. Any more questions? I'm sorry, we're, I, I missed it because there was some, in, uh, there was, I just missed it. What was, how much is it to be, how do, how do you make revenue you, is a membership to your blog site? There's, I have two sources of revenue. Mm -hmm. One is from the actual, like, Advertisers who want to put ads on, on my space. site, and okay. then I have a ten dollar membership from Actor Oh, ten dollars. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ten dollar monthly membership. Yes. 